Street Journal, Bitcoin's monster run to $90,000. Prices have set repeated highs since Trump reclaimed the White House, energizing the Bitcoin faithful. Okay, probably not the time to invest then, right? Bitcoin top $90,000 for the first time Wednesday. A run to new records that reflects investor euphoria over a potential crypto renaissance during Donald Trump's second presidential term. He does seem to be pretty supportive of it, but we'll see how it goes into it. The election of a pro-crypto president has sent Bitcoin prices up 30% since Election Day. That's a big bump. I mean, crypto prices are inherently volatile, but 30% is a huge bump. That is enormous. You are sitting very pretty, very happy. If you invested into Bitcoin before. Now, the other side of that is, I'm assuming most people would probably have been very reticent to invest if Harris had gotten in because she probably would have been fairly anti-crypto so that's why the margin is so high you know you had a someone who was very against it someone who's very for it that creates a, a larger margin the victories of dozens of congressional candidates backed by crypto super PACs have further fueled bitcoins momentum. Traders are wagering that Bitcoin will reach $100,000 before the end of the year, with $850 million worth of options contracts betting on the milestone by the December 27th expiration, said Jake Ostrowskis, OTC trader at crypto market maker Wintermute. Cool. The crypto industry, which donated $170 million to a trio of super PACs to help elect congressional candidates seen as allies, is now betting on a wave of deregulation and industry-friendly policies. They're betting on it. They don't know. They're not sure. They're not sure. I mean makes sense that you would bet on that. You invested money into it. You would expect to get your money's worth, but you're not sure. You're never sure. And it might not necessarily even be completely up to the people that are in charge of those things. It might be regulators as opposed to congressional candidates. So be a little bit, be a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit skeptical. But more reason to be optimistic than skeptical. Trump embraced crypto earlier this year and promised to create a Bitcoin reserve to hold the nation's supply. He also pledged to fire Gary Gensler, chairman of the Securities and Exchange Commission, who has been taking a litigation-heavy strategy to police the sector. I don't know how I feel about a Bitcoin reserve. To be honest, that seems a little bit foolish to me if you're going to create a national reserve I think you would want it to be in something way more stable you'd want it to be in something you know like your precious metals your gold standard your precious metals that type of thing getting us back to a gold standard is probably not possible but would be nice I'd be I'd be all for it I think that'd be a good deal a Bitcoin reserve, I suppose it would decrease some volatility if you just had a bunch that's being held. But, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Because there's not really a national supply of Bitcoin. You know, it's, it's uh, decentralized for a reason. That's kind of the whole FTC uh, bank issue, is that, you know, you have a 
centralized bank dealing with your decentralized, unregulated currency. Why would you want that? You, you, you wouldn't want it. You shouldn't want it. That's probably, it destroys the purpose and the advantages of having such a currency. So, not sure how I feel about it, but the fact that he's talking about it is why people are happy about it. Many investors expressed their bullish view on crypto after the election by buying Bitcoin derivative products using borrowed money. Getting the altcoin because the Bitcoins are so expensive. Makes sense. They scooped up options and what are known as perpetual futures or futures contracts with no expiration date that allowed traders to bet on the price of a token continuously with as much as 100 times leverage. That seems super gamba, super gambling, like just casino times. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I love that. I mean, you know, hey, look, if you hit on it, great, but there, there's no way if you can get 100 times, you know, leverage 100 times, you know, you're going to be in a position that's not massively high risk. It's just not possible. The dollar sum of outstanding Bitcoin derivative contracts on centralized exchanges reached about $61 billion on Monday, a multi-month high according to CC data. Sure. Two other factors powering Bitcoin's relentless rally in recent days. Robust flows into a new wave of exchange-traded funds. ETF holding Bitcoin and the recent interest rate cuts by the Federal Reserve that have boosted prices of risk assets across the spectrum. Yes, if you're, the interest rate cuts means that you can borrow money for less. It, it costs you less money to borrow money, so you want to borrow more money because it costs less. It's cheaper. And that's going to make people less wary of investing in riskier stocks, funds, markets, yada, 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 all that kind of jazz. So those prices are going to go up naturally, whether they will stabilize at that higher price or the risk will, you know, bump it down. You're going to lose money on it. Remains to be seen. The market is realizing just how big of a regime shift is underway. Agreed. Said Quinn Thompson, founder of macro crypto hedge fund Lecker Capital. The spot Bitcoin ETFs, exchange traded funds, which launched after a long awaited SEC approval in January, allow everyday investors to buy the digital assets through their brokerage accounts. It's just a little bit of extra convenience. Great. My guess is you're probably paying an extra premium to be buying it through that kind of stuff, though, so eh. The funds have been a smashing success, with total assets in the 11 ETFs on the market climbing to nearly $94 billion. Cool, that's a large number. Investors rushed to buy Bitcoin ETFs in the aftermath of the presidential election. BlackRock's iShares Bitcoin Trust now manages nearly $42 billion as the world's largest Bitcoin fund. Now again, this is not necessarily because Bitcoin all of a sudden became super cool and everyone was, they saw things were rising and they bought it because it was on an upward trajectory. Yeah, I mean, of course, that's obviously what's going to happen. This is what's happened under the, you know, the Bitcoin market forever. Crypto-related stocks and other tokens have been along for the ride. Shares of Coinbase Global, which is locked in a continuing legal battle with the FEC, 
have surged 12% in the past week. Yeah, obviously, of course, they're going to, you know, if you fired the guy in head of the SEC who's suing, yeah, or, well, if you're going to fire him, then, of course, you're going to go, oh, yeah, hey, this company's not going to be in their legal trouble anymore. Yeah, pretty good bet. MicroStrategy, a software intelligence firm that has transformed itself into a Bitcoin Bitcoin buying entity, has skyrocketed 27%. The company, led by Bitcoin advocate Michael Saylor, now holds about 279,420 nice Bitcoins, worth about $25 billion. Nice chunk of change. The renewed animal spirits come on the renewed animal spirits in the crypto market were unfathomable just a few years ago in 2022 a series of company failures started with the crash of a stable coin called terra usd and culminated in the collapse of the crypto exchange ftx that was more of like a scandal because he was the FTX, what Sam Bankman freed was like money laundering, basically. The scandals dragged the price of Bitcoin to as low as $16,000. Buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. I mean, you're, you're pretty happy if you bought that. 16 grand. You're pretty happy about it. Interest among individual investors appears to be building. Google search interest in Bitcoin climbed to levels last seen before the industry's meltdown. Smaller and riskier tokens, typically favored by individual investors who couldn't afford Bitcoin's lofty price tag, sure, have also experienced huge gains. I'm sure they could have, um, but I'm sure a bunch of those investors also probably lost a ton of money because they're smaller and riskier. Dogecoin, a dog-themed meme token promoted by Elon Musk, has more than doubled in value since the November 5th election. I wonder why. Solana, the fourth largest token, has also notched big gains. Institutional investors have also grown more comfortable with Bitcoin. The number of unsettled and active Bitcoin futures contracts trading on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, known as Open Interest, hit a record of more than 35,973 contracts on Friday, representing $13.9 billion of notional value. Now, how do I feel about Bitcoin? I like the idea of introducing a new currency not controlled by governments. I think that's a cool, good deal. I'm not entirely sure if it has the stability people promote it as having. Obviously, it's been wildly variable. I mean, just in this thing, what? In the last two years, it's been from $16,000 all the way up to $90,000. That's an absurd, ridiculous jump. That's a huge variability, which is not necessarily what you want in a currency. Obviously, as an investment, it's great, but I don't know if people trading in it as a currency as opposed to an investment makes sense. I don't know if we're ever going to be using, again, I know there's some places that do use this, but Bitcoin is a currency. The fact that it's not backed up by anything and it is inherently a fiat currency, I think that's my issue with it. I would love to see a, I mean, again, this is a pie in the sky crazy idea. Maybe I won't go into it. No, it's, it's such a good idea. I can't, I can't put it out there. I can't put it out there. It's too good. It's such, a, it's such a good idea. There's no way I can do it, but it's a, it's a good idea. So I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it a secret. All right. As you can probably hear, people are moving around. I'm going to
have to wrap this up. Thank you for your time and attention. Good luck in all your endeavors. And I shall say farewell for now. <laughs>